you guys been spotting those uh green lines on twitter i posted a bunch of those and people are mad fucking confused about them but basically what it came from was there's like the, i guess i think it's like a pickup artist type account or whatnot and it's basically talking about this concept about how you got if a guy's like leaning in to a woman and instead of her like leaning into him into him with him standing straight it, it's like showing off that he's kind of uh giving away his power to the woman and it's kind of like a beta thing to do and one of the examples to do this was a picture of uh i forgot his real fucking name the mountain his name is like some is like fucking some shit with a bunch of continents all shoved together did i say consonants or continents He's not fucking Pangea, he has a bunch of consonants together. But it's a picture of him, the, literally the strongest man in the fucking world, and like leaning into his girlfriend, or his uh, his fiance, his wife, who's like literally two feet shorter than him. So of course he's leaning in to take a nice picture with her. But this is the guy's example of why the strongest man in the world is a beta male. Um, and a lot, I shared it, and a lot of people I think thought it was like a satire account but I mean you can look at the history of it and see that it's not a satire account and in that world like it's like that's very much a thing that people do like if you've ever kind of taken a peek into those kinds of forums or even that side of Twitter which seems to be growing a bit like these people like go like in depth with their analyses of these fucking things like, I literally, on one of these four- well, I think it might have been on Reddit, actually. I saw a conversation about this kind of stuff years ago lead to, like, dudes on Reddit unironically debating about whether or not the fucking rock is a beta male. I don't necessarily know if that's a conversation worth having in any serious way. Whether or not the rock- A bunch of Redditors debating about whether or not the fucking rock is beta. Of all fucking people. It or originates from like a, a somewhat valid concept of like I think dudes are kind of conditioned to uh to to kind of like very to like not to like kinda of like subjugate themselves to everyone else around them and be like agreeable and have like no kind of no backbone. That's it's kind of like that's I think a lot of people are kind of brought up to behave that way these days so it kind of it, it goes back to this idea of like you know just kind of be confident in being your own person and not have to like defer to other people all the fucking time like we've all ha heard these conversations where someone will and, and even like minor things like where you can't analyze them in this kind of way like uh all right so one conversation that i heard that kind of goes along with this. Back when I used to work at the studio, 300 had just come out. And I was talking about 300 and how much I liked it. And a customer was like, also talking about how awesome that movie was. And my coworker didn't like the movie. So he was like, oh, that movie fucking sucks. And then all of a sudden, because my coworker said that the movie sucks, the customer downgrades his opinion to be like, oh, it was all right. And that's like a very subtle thing, but it's a thing that people do. And a part of it is just kind of like not like that constant need to be agreeable and fucking uh kind of like defer to other people. And I think a lot of that that culture is kind of un wanting to undo that sort of conditioning that people have. But then, at so, it gets to a point, like that shit where people are debating about whether or not the rock is beta. Uh, whether or not the mountain, the little strongest man in the world, is uh, cucked by his wife. It, it gets to that point where you take something that has some kind of sense, and you just completely lose the forest for the trees.